just uh, been sitting here eating some um, oh, are nearly gone now. Uh, riverbank grapes. Yep, they're riverbank grapes um, that uh, that I picked on the property here. They're quite nice. They're just tiny little things, but they're nice. Um, sitting here, you know, I just listening to nature and looking at things and everything. Just looking at this view, you know, it gives you kind of a peaceful mind, and it gives you a lot of time to reflect to on different things that are happening. And you know, I, I've had a lot of, I've had, I've done, well, I've done a lot of reflection in the last two years that I've been here since I lost my house. And I've been watching what's happening around me in the world. And, um, of course, as many of you know, I live up here in Canada, in eastern Ontario, in the country of Canada, the province of Ontario. Um, we're about 50 miles here from the Quebec border, just to give you an idea. Um, we're actually about 50 miles from the border with New York State, too. Here's the thing, about an hour away from Ivor Place, you know. But here's the thing, um, you can tell an awful lot about the character of a government by its priorities. And you can tell an awful lot about the character of the people of a country by what they will accept and what they won't accept. And I know it, it's disappointing. I find it disappointing um, when I see what the priority is, what priorities we have in Canada. And when I see that the majority of the people, not everyone, not everyone, but the majority of the people are perfectly happy with those priorities. Right now in Canada, we have a program which is called MADE. M-A-I-D, which stands for Medical Assistance in Dying. Now, you may think that this program was, is only available if you don't know the whole story. The people who are terminally ill with no prospect of getting any better and are in agony. Um, that's not the case. That's not the case at all. It's available now to pretty well anyone who wants it. Um, and the waiting period to get it is about two weeks. And they'll come to your house to kill you. They'll do a house call. We haven't had doctors in this country doing house calls. Oh, in decades. They don't do that. You got to go into the hospital or into their office to see them. They don't come to your house. Um, way back they did. I know they did back in the 1950s. I don't know just when the practice was discontinued. It wasn't a thing in my lifetime, although my, when my grandmother was dying from cancer in the 1980s, her doctor made an exception and did come to the house uh, regularly to see her because she wished to die at home and not in the hospital, and so he was willing to help her to, um, to do that, you know, to have that final wish realized. And she did die at home, too. She died in her own bed um, with the help of this doctor. So there are exceptions, but generally speaking, um, doctors don't do house calls. It just isn't a thing. That, that was an exceptional situation, but that doctor did that, you know. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you want to know where the priorities are, you got to look where the money is spent. You got to look at what the easier thing is to get. Um, the, the, how it's facilitating, what's facilitated and what isn't, and all that. Now, if you need knee replacement surgery, or you need to be tested because it's suspected that you might have cancer, or anything like that, um, you will wait. Uh, two years, easily. Easily. I know people that have waited two years for surgery for different reasons or for testing. 
if I find out what was going on with them, help wise and so on, where where it was suspected that they had serious health issues. Um, you know, but if you want to, the government to help you, to, you know, to die, two weeks, and they'll come to your house. They'll come right to your house. Right, to, you, you, you can be killed by the government in the comfort of your own home. And if you ask for that to be done, you'll wait two weeks. That's it. If you want to know where our government's priorities are, our government's priority is death. That's what our government's priority is. And it isn't just here. I'm seeing it all over the world in different ways with governments. Uh, the United States isn't too far off from that either. Although I'll have to admit that we're worse here. But only just by a little bit, you know. Anyway, my, my picture just froze up there. I don't know if that'll come out in the final um, video or not, but it just froze up. Anyway, it does that sometimes. But the whole thing is, um, that's where the priority is. And that's a sad thing, you know. Plus, this government has created a lot of the troubles that people are facing now that might make them want to check out. Anyway... They're not going to get me to go voluntarily, no matter 